guys and welcome to things your sister says in today's video i'm going to be doing an opening for opening fab fit fun for fall 2020 i am so excited about this i was able to actually get this for really inexpensive because a bunch of people actually clicked my link i have a little referral link which i had for my starter box and i'm just so excited i was able to get this for the same price as the starter box so super exciting apparently Cass has decided to come join us howdy girl so I'm really excited to get this open. I was able to choose a couple of things in this box. I'm hoping they actually came through. I already took my little, that's why it's all ripped off here. It didn't come off looking bad. I had my little address stamp on here and I didn't want that on camera. So I ripped it off and I sliced open the thing. I've not gone into this yet, but I am so excited. I'm gonna just go ahead and open it. This is always perilous. How do you open this dang thing? Oh, hold on the side, baby, jeez. Apparently this thing is, yeah. All right, so this is what it looks like when I open it. Let's go ahead and move a bunch of this packaging. I'm just gonna throw that over there for right now. Ooh, it's huge. I've got a ton of like offers and a magazine. I always kind of look through that at the end. How's that balance my camera? There it is. I always look at these at the end and it always kind of just advertises to you what you'll be getting in the next couple of months. So always a fun thing to look at. This smells really good. It smells like candles. Oh, I did get one of the things. Oh, I'm so excited. So I'll tell you what I actually picked out for my box. I had options. I'm going to post up on here. Hopefully if I can find them again, what the options were and I'll say what I chose. All right. So this is a coupon code. I'm going to send an email and see if I'm allowed to actually share this It's for $15 off your first Fat Fit Fun box see if I'm allowed to share that code or if I just keep going with the link down below, which I believe gets you $10 off your first box. Each box comes at uh, $49.99. It is not a cheap box, but you're supposed to get $200 or more plus in product and it's all random and it's home goods and I love it. I love Fabric Fun. I loved my starter box. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below. It will also have codes and all kinds of fun stuff. So, you know, read the description and all that good stuff. So you get, I, just, I get these all the time in subscription boxes, either in Boxy Charm or Ipsy. I don't drink wine. So stop sending me wine stuff. I don't drink wine at all. Hello Fresh, $80 off. Yeah, well, the thing is you end up spending, I think I ended up putting this into a machine, into the, the, the website or whatever. I can say words. I put it into the website or whatever and it ended up coming to way more than the $80 off you would get. It was ridiculous. I'm not sure if I'm Super excited about that or not. I don't even know where to begin because there's just so much. That is essential oils. I actually like essential oils, but not like in the doTERRA sense of essential oils. I don't believe in all the hippy dippy, this will help you with your anxiety and your depression. And I have those. And essential oils don't do anything for that. Uh, I believe essential oils are not gonna be doing anything for that. I know that might be controversial for some hippy dippy people, but whatever. But what I do like essential oils for is I have, I made, I'll show my other channel if anybody's interested in this. I have another channel called Knit Grit where I, that's what the smell is. It smells so good though. I do like how they smell. I have these little dryer balls and they are uh, felted wool essentially and I needle felted it so that it would be all nice and firm and you can take essential oils. So this is Elevate to Essential Oils Eucalyptus and Sweet Orange. I'm pretty excited about that and it's kind of wasteful packaging considering there's literally nothing in the center. Feels like maybe there should just be a smaller package but you know you do you. I'm gonna take these out and they're wrapped. I like that so that they're not gonna bounce against each other. So this one's eucalyptus and the other one I believe I already said was sweet orange. I'm gonna plop those over there and they're gonna go over by my dryer because I'm gonna put a couple drops in my um, dryer ball and I'm gonna throw it into my, my dryer and make my clothes smell all good. So that's actually kind of exciting. It's a little thing that I would never buy myself because I don't buy essential oils, but this looks really nice. Let me see what the back says. Energizing sweet orange and revitalizing eucalyptus. Eucalyptus, I can say words. I'm dyslexic, so I say everything. I butcher it terribly. All right, so fractionated coconut and organic jojoba oils preserve the pure characteristics and scent of these essential oils while allowing for direct use on skin. Eucalyptus can be applied topically to sore muscles and can be beneficial for cold and flu symptoms. Sweet orange is often used on the temples or stomach for cramps and headaches. I get those a lot, but I still don't think that's gonna do anything. I'll try it. 
I'll try anything once, prove me wrong. I'll be happy about that. But I also don't think that's gonna help me with my cramps. And I've been having a lot of them lately because of my doctor visit, which if anybody's interested in that, I can do another video and I probably will because I had a whole a horror story from my last doctor's visit and I had a amazing, I had an amazing doctor's visit with my last doctor and she's spectacular and I adore her, but she has me on some fun stuff right now so that we can figure out what my fertility issues are. So if anybody's interested in that, go ahead and comment down below. I can give the deets. But let's continue on with the Fat Fit Fun. I am a little bit everywhere, so I apologize. I actually specifically asked for this one, so I'm really excited. It was this little coin necklace, you know, the double one that you see everywhere. They're trending everywhere, and I thought that that's so pretty. The only thing that I would have liked is if this was silver, and if you had the choice of having it in silver or gold, because I am more of a silver person. I am pale, and I have no gold anything in my skin tone. I'm just a pale little silver girl. So may or may not give this to my mom because she does do gold jewelry. I do silver. I don't know why it just works out that way. This is amberskeets.com. I believe that the, does it actually say what the pricing is for any of this? Like what the totals come to? I'm gonna go inside this real quick. How the box is curated. Take care of yourself. Okay, so these are just top rated fat fit fun products. Brazilian bubblegum cream I hear is spectacular. I actually want to get that. I've been trying to eyeball it on some of my BoxyCharm Facebook groups, but I have not been able to find any for a decent price. Word search. Okay, so this has nothing on here telling you about what the pricing for any of this is, which is frustrating. So I'm gonna put that over there. I don't need to go through that anymore. Um, I am very, very excited about these. This is another thing that I had asked, um, that I had specified that I wanted. These are so, Stinking gorgeous. They look so comfy. They feel kind of cheap on the bottom, the foam, but they're slippers. If they last a couple seasons, then I'll be happy. PJ Salvage, live life cozy and got a little doggo. He's a little cute pupper. All right, so it's got like faux fur on the inside. And so look back, it's everywhere galore. And it's got like that knit look on the outside. So there's cabling going on everywhere. And I bought these in a size I'm gonna get scissors and snip that instead of trying to pull it and then ripping everything like I really want to. I really always want to just like rip them open, but then I always, I always end up cutting it and it's that bad time for everybody. Oh, there's gonna be a hard time getting that out because it's like on the inside, inside the fur, the little like plastic tag. I don't wanna cut that tag too. All right, we're gonna set those aside for right now and put the scissors, my little sewing scissors with it. I'm pretty excited about those. I got these in a size small because I have tiny little feet. All right, so next up is the Musk Coconut and Shea Butter Nurturing Hand Cream. I love hand cream. I crochet and I knit constantly and in the winter it is bad. I'm always trying new hand creams. I'm going to pull this off now because I'm so excited to try this and smell it. I'm not excited about the musk though. I'm not a musky person. It's not that bad. It actually smells almost like baby powder. Let's see how that feels on my hands. And hopefully this won't ruin me for the rest of the video where I'm just slipping off everything. This, I can smell the musk a little bit, but it's more like a baby powder. It's like if musk and baby powder had a baby, it was kind of good. It's very soft feeling. I'm gonna put some on my elbows because that's where I put excess everything whenever I have lotions because they are dry all the time. So this is really pretty smelling. I like it. It is coconut shea butter and musk. It's got all kinds of stuff. It's levito inspired by nature, massage into hands and cuticles and allowed to absorb. Use regularly for best results. All right, so I like that. It's cute. I don't know what the price is for anything in here is. Ooh, I just received a, this is different looking though. This is a beauty sponge it looks like, hybrid. So what does that do? Silicone pad blending sponge. So it's like a silicone part there. I actually do like silicone ones. Makeup Drop Beauty Blender. So is it Beauty Blender brand or is it Makeup Drop? Is that a thing? No, it's called Makeup Drop. Silicone for sculpting and outlining. Sponge for flawless airbrush finish. And I do use beauty sponges whenever I do put on some foundation. I find that it works a lot better than just using a brush. That's just for me though, and I like that personally. I am excited about trying the silicone aspect of it. It's kind of nifty looking. I'm trying to get it out of the glare of the sun. It's got like 
this little silicone flat edge where it would go. I'm always trying something new and I have like 20 different beauty sponges so I'm really excited to try that. I'm not only not going to open it up right this second or maybe I will. Let's just get the scissors and do that because otherwise I'm going to hurt myself. I'm going to butcher this. I told you everything. All packaging gets butchered. Nope. Oh. Okay. We did it. That is very weird with the silicone edge. It's hard. It's a lot harder than I thought it would be. So I imagine that's for like if you've got a cream contour. I don't do cream contour. I do cream foundation, but not cream contour. But I'm excited to try it. And I'm wondering how this is going to feel once you wet the sponge, which is what you're supposed to do generally. You wet it and then you wring it out. So I'm curious if the silicone part gets bigger too. We'll see. I'm going to put this over here. Whipped cleansing cream. I'm always into a cleansing cream. Always. I do it while I'm in the shower. Just doing a quick little cleanser. Truffle Therapy Whipped Cleansing Cream is gentle yet effective cleanser and makeup remover that is highly concentrated with antioxidants and skin smoothing, soothing botanical extracts to renew dry and dull skin. Packed with black truffle extract and sweet almond oil. Oh, I, hate, I hate the smell of almond. You know, that fake pungent. I love almonds. I hate the smell of like the fake pungent almond sweet smell. It's gross. I'm really worried that's what this is gonna smell like. I'll do what I need to do, but if it works, it works. That's all that really matters. Packed with black truffle extract and sweet almond oils, this powerhouse cleanser is full of essential fatty acids and delivers intense hydration while improving skin resilience and tone. I can read really quickly and I absorb what it says, but a lot of times when I actually vocalize it, I end up saying things in reverse or I'll say things wrong or I'll say a word that I acknowledged what it was in my head. I knew what it was saying, but I didn't say it the way it was supposed to be said so all right this is actually kind of exciting so no poor blum no poor blem that, that's not my dyslexia talking that's literally what it says so primer so i'm pretty excited about this the cleanser i am also gonna try out in the shower but i'm gonna put him over here he's gonna sit over there i've got more in here i think there's only like one more thing after this so hold on how many products is that? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Usually it says up to eight products, so that's kind of surprising. Oh no, seven, the necklace. Seven, and it's, there we go, okay. I understand now. So we have seven, this is a primer. I don't usually use primers. I know people are gonna yell at me. I used one today, actually. I used the, um, I'm gonna pop it up on the screen. It's just this one that you get in almost every single one of your freaking boxy charms. Every time you're gonna get one of them, and either an Ipsy or a boxy charm, if you are subscribed to either one of them or both of them within a two to three month period, you're going to get this product. Just period. Not the No Pore Blem primer. I don't know how to say that without sounding like my dyslexia is just taking over, but still I'm trying not to bounce the camera thing. This box is huge. So this is what the primer looks like. It's got a lid and then it does the normal faucety thing. Oh God, it's liquid. Okay, that's an interesting texture. What does it smell like? It smells like a sweet perfume. I don't know if my body's, and it's oily. Oh, I don't know, my body, my face is not gonna like this primer probably. It's gonna make all everything slick. So what does it say on the back? Primer. I don't know how primer that smooths and covers pores on the micro level. Leaving pores in the past contains green tea extracts and collagen enhancing ingredients that instantly adhere to the skin, giving perfectly seamless coverage for a long lasting wear. I can't say that this won't be the thing that perfectly works for me, but typically oily feeling things on my skin make me A, break out like crazy and B, just don't look good generally. I've got a fairly oily texture skin, so when I put oily stuff on it, it does not like that. So we'll see. It smells very perfumed, like kind of like grandma perfume. I don't know. Not a huge fan of this, but we'll see. I'm going to try it out and I'm not super hopeful that it's not going to be the thing that makes me break out. This is the last thing. I was able to pick three things. I picked the slippers. I picked the necklace out of all the stuff that I had options for. And I picked this really cool bag out as the bump here. Not even gonna try to pronounce that the right way. B O T K I E R. Fuck here. I can spell for the best of them. But I ended up 
getting this because my mom's purse is actually on its way out. And so I figured I would surprise her with a nice big giant bag because I think the other option was an essential oils diffuser. And I think there was like the bot here. That's how I'm going to pronounce it. I'm sticking with it. Um, the bot here backpack and I'm a little too old for that. I just hit 30 and I'm not going to be playing that game. Come out, get off. All right. Scissors to the rescue. Hopefully we won't slash open. Okay, this is fun. Rip. All right. We're just gonna rip this and call it good. And hopefully not look like an idiot doing it. We're gonna also cut strategically. Don't hit the strap, please don't, please don't, please don't. All right, let's just, like so. All right, we did it. This is pretty exciting. I'm gonna give this to my mom when she finally shows up today. Is that any, everything in the bag? Yes, so now I can put my trash in my box. That's what I'm gonna do. I've already gone through everything else. And I'm gonna give my general uh, thoughts on this box. I'm pretty excited about this bag as a gift. I like the idea that even if I get things in this box that I don't particularly like, I'm able that was a satisfying zipper pull. Even though, oh no, there's like zippers all throughout this thing. What I like about this bag is that even though I may not like everything that comes in this box, I'm able to gift. I have a lot of family members who like a lot of different stuff and I'm able to set things aside. I'm able to just not use them and I can put them in with that as a gift or just hand it over. Actually, that no poor blamo actually dries pretty easily on my skin, so that might be Either way, I like that I'm able to give gifts and get a couple treats for myself. So I say if you have the $49.99 or the discount code or whatever you get, this is definitely worth a purchase. It's definitely interesting and it's $49.99 four times a year. So that's $200 a year. That's not a light amount, but I really like it. I think it's cool and this is a really pretty bag. It is huge. I imagine she's able to keep all five million different things that she owns in this bag. So I'm really excited to give her this bag. I'm a little bit everywhere because I'm super excited I was able to get this. I'm probably going to gift these two things to my mom even though I picked them out. They weren't great options this time around when it came to the choice. It was just a bag, a backpack, or an oil diffuser, and then like three different types of, I don't know, not even really interesting things when it came to the necklace choice. The necklace was just, eh. I'm actually gonna open this and see what I think of it generally. The no poor blamo thing actually dried a lot more smooth than I thought it would. So that actually is holding some promise. Let's go ahead and put that in the, the recycling. This kind of feels a little bit cheap to me. I don't know what it is exactly made out of, but it feels almost like something that you would get out of one of those quarter machines that you can get for all kinds of different stuff. I'm not sure if I'm super excited about this. I'm gonna see if my mom likes it because gold isn't my color anyway, but it doesn't feel that great. All right, generally my opinion on this box is that I'm going to continue purchasing the Fat Fit Fun box because I like it. I loved these little slippers. They're so comfy and stinking rustic and pretty. I don't like that this little tag is here. I may remove it because I don't like stepping on tags. That would drive me crazy. Generally, I'm excited to try the beauty sponge. I really like this lotion. I'm gonna put that on my nightstand and actually just use that for the next little bit. I might do an update on certain products after my next bo uh, box comes in the mail and give you an idea of like, hey, I've used this product for a little while. Do I still think it's worth it? Let me know if that's something that you're interested down below. I can do that. I'm pretty excited to be able to just start posting on my second channel. So I'm gonna try this cleanser and I'm gonna give full on reviews on my next Fat Fit Fun Box. This is just a general um, opening. Ooh, what I will say is that my makeup dust cloth that I received in my starter box, love that thing. Oh my gosh, the little makeup eraser, little fabric. I don't know what about it, but literally it will clear anything off your face. Even the most horrific liquid lip that I had from another boxy charm. The neon lip that I had tried on, got that right off. I just wanted to try it. I was like, well, this kind of got to get this neon lip off. Took like three separate makeup wipes to get that off, by the way. Some of the Tony Moly makeup wipes took three of those stinking things to get that neon lip off. 
Meanwhile, this makeup eraser wipe, which is like $20, $19.99 or something like that, if you just buy it outright, removed it immediately and I can just throw it right into the wash. I will say wash it by itself on the first wash. I made that mistake because you end up with pink fuzz everywhere. So wash it by itself with a very small load. All right, so that's pretty much all there is to this Sad Fit Fun Box review. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. I can't get over how fuzzy these slippers are. They're so much fun. All right, so I'm gonna be doing reviews on everything during my next video. I'm gonna take a picture and try to remind myself to do that me out on it if I don't do that because I'm terrible at remembering the things I promise in my videos so I will try to remember and put it in my notes and remember for next time I take lists and that's the only way I can remember anything but pretty much I'm pretty excited about trying all these things they're new products I've never tried before I'd give Habit Fun a 7 out of 10 it's really cool it's an interesting concept I like it and that's pretty much all there is to this video if you like stuff like this you want to hear more about unboxings and polycystic ovarian stuff and health and all that stuff and my fasting journey, go ahead and hit subscribe. It really helps me out. All right. I don't know why I just keep bouncing these around. <laughs> Until next time. Bye.